hello guys uh welcome to this channel all right and welcome to this page on facebook okay and of course uh, uh today we're going to talk about the syllabus for jam mathematics all right before we begin it's good to know that the future belongs to those who prepare for it today okay so you want to succeed in your jam exam you must start preparation immediately don't think you have time, all right? Thinking you have luxury of time is a part to what? It's a part to not preparing efficiently. And that means that you want to fail, all right? So, and of course, you do not want anybody to fail. Jam exam is an exam you do not want to write twice. You must pass your jam exam at once. So anything, anything that you will need, okay, to pass the exam at once is what you should be doing, all right? So please do not forget that this tutorial is sponsored, okay, by the O3 School Jam CBT Practice app, all right? If you have made up your mind that this exam once, I want to crush it once and for all, go and download the application from Play Store. It's also available for your computer, for your laptop, in case you want to practice without distraction, okay? So please, let us go to uh, the uh, mathematics what syllabus, okay? And then it says here, it said the... Uh, the aim of the Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination UTM syllabus in mathematics is to prepare the candidates for the board examination. All right. So we say the future belongs to those who prepare for it today. All right. And you need tools to prepare for the future. Okay. So the future is your jam that you want to write. All right. If you want to write jam, that's when you'll be watching this video. I'll be. Uh -huh. So if you want to prepare for your jam examination, you need to work prepare with some tools, with some materials. And one of those very important materials you cannot do without is your syllabus. Syllabus is a guide. Okay. It guides you. All right. And prepares you. For the word for the jam mathematics word exam so it is designed to test the achievement of the course objectives which are to acquire computational and manipulative skills to develop precise logical and formal reasoning skills and develop deductive skills in interpretation of graphs diagrams and data and apply mathematical concepts to resolve issues in daily living all right and of course here as you can see this syllabus is divided into five sections there are five sections in the mathematics syllabus but before we talk about those five sections it is important for you to note that what there are 28 topics in total for you to work to smash your jam mathematics okay just 28 topics very few topics so if you take one for each day that means in a month you finish your jam mathematics syllabus you'll finish it okay and you can do it when it comes to mathematics you can do it and solve questions Okay, so you see how you read, you, you, you finish your topic, you solve questions on that. That's why you need the O3 School Jam CBT practice app today. Go and get it, all right? Go and get it immediately. Activate it. Use it for your own success. Pass your exam at once. No, don't let anybody deceive you, okay? Pass your exam at once, all right? Don't, don't even think about writing jam twice, all right? It is not a good thing at all. I wrote jam three times, all right, before I... Got, got admission before I fin finished school, okay? So I wrote jam three times and it is not a good feeling at all. I've been there, that's why I'm advising you. Please, pass your exam at once. Focus on your work, on your exam and pass it at once. All right, so now the syllabus is divided into five sections. Number and numeration, two algebra, three geometry and tri trigonometry, okay? And then four calculus, five statistics. All right, so now the detail syllabus. The on the first part, this is the number and numeration. On the first part, I'm going to talk about number basis. Okay, all right. Number two, talk about fractions, decimals, approximations, and percentages. You know the good part. All of the topics we have covered it on our YouTube channel. All right, so <laughs> just for you to go and watch our video, then take questions from the O3 School Jump app, answer them. Use question search features, search for question under fractions, search under number basis, answer the finish then. Don't be say see be answer question like like they swear for you. Say if you don't answer question, something will be wrong with you. Just be smashing, be tearing question, or I'll be building your confidence. All right. Now number three, I'm going to talk about indices, logarithms, and sorts. All right. Then number four, sets. Types of set, algebra of sets, Venn diagrams, and the application. The number uh, the second part, session two, is algebra. Other algebra, we'll talk about polynomials, change of subject formula, factor, and remainder, th and remainder theorems, factorization of polynomials of degree not exceeding three, multiplication of and division of polynomials, roots of polynomials not exceeding degree three, simultaneous equations, including one linear, one quadratic, graphs of polynomials of degree not greater than three. Then number two, talk about variation, direct, inverse, joint, partial, percentage increase and, and decrease. Number three, we talk about inequalities, analytical and graphical solutions of linear inequalities, quadratic inequalities with integral roots only. Then number four, progression. Okay, 
We'll, under progression, talk about how to find the end term of a progression, the sum of uh, arithmetic progression and geometric progression, AP and GP. Then, number five, we we'll talk about binary operations, okay? Properties of closure, commutative, uh, commutativity, associativity, and distributi uh, distributivity. All right, talk about identity and inverse elements, simple cases only. Number six, talk about matrices and determinants, okay? Algebra of ma matrices not exceeding three by three. Determinant of matrices not exceeding three by three, inverses of matrices, including quadratic and higher degree equations. Now, section three, geometry and, trig uh, and trigonometry. All right, number on the first topic is Euclidean geometry. All right, number two is mensuration. Number three is loci. Okay, that's locus in two dimensions based on geometric principles relating to lines and curves. Loci. The number four, geometric. Uh, coordinate geometry, rather. Talk about the midpoint and gradient of a line segment. Distance between two points, parallel and perpendicular lines, equations of straight lines. Then number five, talk about uh, trigonometry. Okay, under trigonometry, you are supposed to understand trigonometrical ratios. Okay, uh, trigonometrical ratios of angles, the angles of elevation and depression, bearing, areas and solutions of triangles, graphs of sine and cosine, sine and cosine formula. You can see all of them well outlined in the syllabus, all right? Then number section four, which is calculus, talk about differentiation. On that differentiation, talk about limit of a function, talk about differentiation of explicit algebra and simple trigonometrical functions, sine, cosine, and tangent. Then number two, talk about application of differentiation rate of change and maxima and minima, that's maxima and minimum points. Then uh, number three, talk about integration. Under integration, talk about integration of explicit algebra and simple trigonometrical functions. Talk about area under the curve and application of integration. Now, section five is statistics. Under statistics, talk about representation of data. Uh, under that, talk about frequency distribution, histogram, bar chart, and pie chart. Number two, talk about measures of location, mean mode, and medium of ungroup and group data. Simple cases only. Then B, we talk about cumulative frequency. Number three, we talk about measures of dispersion. Under measures of dispersion, we talk about the range, mean deviation, variance, and standard deviation. Number four, we talk about permutation and combination. Under this, we talk about linear and circular arrangements. Then we talk about arrangements involving repeated objects. Number five, we talk about probability. Under probability, we we'll talk about experimental probability. Uh, tossing of coin, throwing of a dice, right? Then about uh, the B part, talk about addition and multiplication of probabilities, mutual and independent cases, all right? Then, of course, that is that. Talk about recommended text, test books you should use, all right? All right, so test books, they are just recommended tests for you. That means you can actually use any good, any good mathematics test book you have. It's okay, don't put yourself under pressure to go and say, yeah, I want to go and buy the one that jumps, yeah, to use, or is there, I want to sell question from. Yeah, it's nothing like that, okay? If it's, only, if it's only our tutorials on YouTube, you will watch. It's enough for you. You don't need any textbook. That is one. Two, all right? If you use only our application, the lecture notes on the application, you will not need any textbook. Three, you can use any textbook, any mathematics, good mathematics textbook that you have. Any one you have is very, very okay. All right? It's, see, you see you see the thing about studying, it, it, it all depends on you, okay? Textbooks will not give you something wrong. Okay, they will not give you something wrong. So it's you. It's you. You need to you need to beat your chest and say, I want to pass this exam at once. Okay. So in case you are still interested in the recommended test that has been shown on the screen, distinction in mathematics, basic mathematics for secondary schools and media students, uh, new general mathematics for West Africa, new school mathematics for senior secondary school, further mathematics, uh, and then talk about algebra and calculus for schools and colleges. Talk about further mathematics project books. Okay, wisdom pass at once jam. All right, so uh, those are the recommended texts here. All right, but trust me, you can use any good one you have. I uh, do not need to put yourself under any pressure. So these are the topics 28 in total. Okay, for jam mathematics, and you can finish them within a month. You can finish them within a month. All right, so please ensure you start early. Start early, solve a lot of questions, download the OT school jam, CBT practice out. Start now. Now you have no reason to be playing, okay? You are preparing for an examination, all right? So, uh, thank you for joining in. Uh, see you in the next one.